What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Moose here playing some Predator Hunting Grounds and today guys I want to talk about a few things. First and foremost I want to talk about a leak that has been circulating the internet all around uh, Reddit, all around Facebook, Twitter, that kind of thing. We have a new fire team member coming to the game, presumably, and also you guys have been asking about builds for the clash mode within Predator Hunting Grounds. Guys this mode is growing on me so much. I have three builds right now that I currently like to use. We're going to go over one tonight. So let's start with the build, guys. Then we're going to talk about the new fire team member within Predator Hunting Ground. So as you guys can see here on the screen, we have the scout class. And you might be thinking, like, in terms of health, really? The scout class for Clash? Well, honestly, guys, it is probably... Well, it's right up there at the top with one of my go-to builds. And not mainly, obviously, because of the health but because of the mobility and speed of the scout. Of course, we all know how fast the scout is with double time, as you guys can see here as well. So I'm using the Hammerhead, guys, and honestly, between the Hammerhead and Mercenary, they're both my favorite two assault rifles to use in Clash because they are the most accurate rifles, um, especially the Hammerhead with the ADS. Um, so we're running the Hammerhead on the scout. We're also running the regular combat knife. I'm running the Z06, the secondary submachine gun. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm also using quick release. So basically, if I run out of ammo on the Hammerhead, boom, quick swap over to the submachine gun and try to finish up some kills. Try to do some cleanup with that bad boy, especially it's extremely accurate. So there are the weapons we're running on this class, guys. We're running the flashbang. Now, typically, I would run the frag grenade. However, I noticed after testing it over and over and over in clash mode, it just does not seem even, um, even direct hits, direct explosions, just don't seem to do enough damage to make me want to use a whole slot for that. So we're running the flash grenades. They come really, really in handy. They will blind the whole team if they're close enough together, and you get two of them, so... Uh, definitely comes in handy. I like using the flashbang. We're going with the field surreps, obviously, because we're going to be taking some damage, but um, with the field surreps to back us up, obviously helps out a little bit there. Um, now, in terms of speed, we're running double time, obviously. Thick skin, give us a little extra boost to our health, and, of course, the quick release so we can quick swap them weapons. This is uh, this build works for me. I don't know. Some of you guys may not like it. Please let me know your feedback, what you think of a build like this. But I have a lot of fun with it. We're going to jump into a game. We're going to talk about this new class, the fire team class, which is the OWLF operative that has been leaked on Reddit. At least the post that I've seen on Reddit was from Chilla Chinchilla was the poster just to give them credit. Um, that's where I seen it. So let's jump into a game. We're going to talk about some of this OWLF operative class and let me know what you guys think about that as well. So let's get into it. All right, guys, let's jump into it. We're jumping into a game as our covert scout. I want to talk a little bit about the OWLF operative class, guys. So we have a screenshot. It looks like it was filed, Doug, by somebody. Uh, the post that I saw on Reddit was from Chilla Chinchilla. To give them the credit if somebody's posted it before this person i do apologize this is where i saw the post from it was chilla chinchilla so just an overview to get it started guys i'll throw the screenshot up here owlf operative class attributes trained and equipped by the owlf the special agent is built for predator combat with a thermal suit the soldier's infrared signature is difficult for hunters to track so right there obviously guys that's telling us if you see his passive perks your thermal suit and yaucha damage resistance for starters, he's going to be harder for the Predator to see and track with his thermal suit. And also, the significant thing that popped out to me was the Aucha damage resistance. Now, he does have decent health, not the greatest, but he does have a lot of stamina. Movement speed's three quarters, and gear is full. So with that said, guys, combined in his perk slots, if you go ahead and throw on a thick skin or an OWLF trained, he could be a nightmare as far as taking damage from the Predator itself. So it looks like it could be a lot of fun and seems to be almost built like a scout, but more tanky. Um, so he is going to be pretty fast if you go ahead and combine, you know, double time, things like that on him. He can be a pretty fast, pretty versatile fire team member. Now, um, if you look at his melee slot, you see a smart disc there. Now, a lot of people are saying that that could be just a placeholder for his melee. But, I mean, who knows? I mean, these guys do... Um, their profession is to take Yaucha Tech, Predator Tech. 
So it wouldn't surprise me that at some point, and if you think of Mike Harrigan in Predator 2, it wouldn't surprise me at some point that the smart disc may be available to use in the game as a fire team weapon. Maybe not the throwing guide like the Predator, but maybe just to use as a regular melee weapon. Um, which would definitely be a game changer and also would be pretty, pretty cool. Uh, hopefully it's not any more powerful <laughs> than the regular Nas because they're already OP, obviously, as we all know. Um, but it would be uh, definitely interesting to say the least. Now, he does have a ton of gear slots, so you can pretty much do anything in his gear slots that you want to do. You can combine almost anything in his gear slots, so you can definitely work with that, mess with that. If you run, want to run your UAVs with your frag grenades and your serrets, go for it. Um, throw in your ASIGs or however you want to mix and match. Definitely a lot of room to kind of put some things together. Perk slots aren't that great, but 8 is definitely manageable for a build like this. So honestly, just taking a quick look, aside from his slightly low health, this class could be possibly one of the best fire team classes in the game, guys. Hands down. I mean, just taking a look at all of the, uh, the gear, the movement speed, the stamina, the thermal suit, and the predator damage resistance kind of sounds insane to me, ladies and gentlemen. So let me know your thoughts down below on what you think of the OWLF operative. Now, I have no word on when this thing's going to be released, if it's going to be released anytime soon, how any of that's going to work. Of course, it is October. Um, we may or may not be expecting a paid DLC sometime this month. However, for some reason, I can't see this being a paid DLC, the OWLF operative. I see that being a free DLC for everyone, which leads me to believe that maybe next month in November we'll get it, but I don't know. So I want to know what you guys think about this, because I know most of you have probably already seen this. These are my thoughts on this class. I think it's certainly just uh, right out of the gate. Looks like it could possibly be OP. So I'm going to let this video roll for the rest of the match, guys. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, let me know what your thoughts on the OWLF operative class and also our scout class that we're using um, for Clash. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in, guys. We've got more videos coming in the future. A lot of Clash gameplay, Predator 1v1, stuff like that. My name's Sergeant Moose. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Stick around and rock on.